Simon, many congratulations. A, a hard fought 3 1 win there. <clears throat> yeah, it's certainly uh, hard fought and it's always going to be. You know, we said before, we, lot, we watched a lot of all the shots. They've been in decent form. So for us, a real, uh, we knew at home we'd be asked lots of questions and, and we stood up to a different type of challenge from last week, but one that you know, we stood up to and, and, and came through it in the end. I thought we started the game pretty brightly, warranted our one goal lead and we didn't let the, the equaliser late in the half sort of knock our confidence too much. Yeah, listen, that was the challenge at half time, that was the team talk. Listen, we've been, we've been, I feel, unjustly punished. I didn't think it, I thought it was a foul on, on, on Eamon. Um, so we got two options, we can either sit and sulk and in previous games I've watched we felt sorry for ourselves, and you know, that's not an option here. We dust ourselves down, we go again. This is a big emphasis on the team, and the team come together, you know, and, and we, we didn't feel sorry for ourselves, and we went out and we was, we was relentless in our efforts. The start of the second half, Holder Shot had a lot of the ball. Um, just before the penalty, they were obviously putting the pressure on, but not many saves for Roman to make all afternoon. No, again. it's in the back four, two centre midfield players in front of that, you know, give us a real good base to work off. and. Again, all the shot, you know, not like Maidenhead. They haven't got the physical uh, centre forward, so we could allow to drop a little bit deeper and deny their spacing behind is where they want to go. Um, crosses and, and balls in the box. We should defend well because we're, we're a big physical side. JJ Hooper got his goal today. I fully deserved it. He put in a lot of hard work. Yeah, as I said last week, he was he was really started the press well and worked his socks off and, and, and had a good chance at the end of the game last week. Um, and this week it's got him for him. Fantastic header. Um, stuff we looked at and we've done in training with him. You know, leave the space, attack it. In fact, fantastic header for us. And, uh, you know, Mason for the penalty <clears throat> to earn it. I thought he was uh, tireless in his work. I think we see some real quality. He was a real threat when we, we got him going forward uh, from a good base he come from and, and fully deserved his goal as, as well. And uh, the third one, <clears throat> you know, we was, happy to, we was happy for him to run it to the corner. But, you know, uh, fantastic, fantastic feat by Toby. And funny, he wasn't going to be sub yesterday. I watched training and I pulled him in and I changed it. I told him, listen, he was going to be out of the squad, but I've watched training, you know, I was happy with him. So I went with, uh, I went with him today and he's come on and, and produced a bit of brilliance. I have to say in the commentary box, we were urging him to go towards the corner. So but was I. <laughs> when you go ahead in games and we played with confidence, you can see the kind of confidence show there yeah. with Tommy to do what he did. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was a fantastic finish. We was all shouting uh, from the box from the bench to get into the corner, um, but just shows the confidence of the boy to produce that little bit of magic and he was really calm with the finish. On to Boreham Wood Tuesday yeah. night, we've laid a nice little platform and it's a, another step to go there on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I said to the boys after the game, you've got 25 minutes to enjoy it, then you start thinking about uh, going forward to Tuesday. So what we eat, what we drink, how we rest, are all really big things for us because the game's come thick and fast now. So we may have to use the squad a bit more, um, but you know, can't fault the lads' efforts. And, and again, their, uh, their work ethic today was faultless. Let's finish on the fans because there's been few occasions where they can really enjoy a Barnet performance this year. They most certainly would have enjoyed that one. Well, listen, that's the biggest disappointment. Obviously, no fans here, but it's some sun shining. <clears throat> Hopefully, there was lots of them uh, on the streaming and watching the game from their garden with a beer, and uh, I really hope they enjoy it.